you know, one of the advantages of using, I think, a fibular nail is, you know, obviously soft tissue, um, minimize soft tissue stripping. And, you know, it's more soft tissue friendly. We mentioned during the webinar, it's not a surface implant, which I didn't want a surface implant because of the potential risk of infection and contamination with the flap. Uh, but um, not necessarily in this case, because the uh, subtalar joint was fused, as you can see here, but it does provide, I think, a, um, a lateral strut, as well as, you know, potentially better biomechanics to allow for earlier weight bearing. And, you know, we're, we're kind of a little, looking at that a little bit, even in some more neuropathic or diabetic patients. I mean, do we really need to keep the diabetic patient non-weight bearing for an extended period of time? I think the answer is yes, we need to keep them non-weight bearing and protect them longer, but with a stronger construct that we uh, potentially are using, I think we can allow earlier weight bearing. And I think that's what the nail allows. We've seen that in other fractures. And obviously this is not the femur. This is not the tibia. This is not the humerus. I get this. This is a fibula, but uh, I think there are advantages there that, um, you know, we're, we haven't fully, um, I guess, studied. And, you know, I think hopefully our, some of our future studies and reviews will show at least Will it be possible? And and I hope the answer is yes. I don't. We don't have that definitive answer, but I hope it is.